it all. Good morning. Thank you. I just woke up. <laughs> You've been driving for three <laughs> hours. <laughs> That's such an alarming thing to hear. <laughs> We're back in the north woods of Forest County searching for boreal species. The north woods consists of mile after mile of spruce bog and coniferous forest. The unique environment draws animals and tourists alike to explore the forest roads and trails. While the birds of the boreal forest are incredibly unique, they are often very difficult to find. On our last trip to the north woods we got quick looks at both crossbill species and evening grosbeaks, but no boreal birds to speak of. After a somewhat unfulfilling trip, we were hoping to have more success this time around. We changed some things up here, so we are getting here a little bit earlier. We brought Derek, who is asleep in the back, and we're going to be picking up Rob on Pine River Road, so we'll see what we can come up with. That could be Rob. Other than that car, it's dead silent. We arrived before sunup with the moon still high in the sky. With Rob arriving just a few minutes after we did, we were ready to start finding some birds. That's a good idea. As the sun began to come up, the silence was broken by a flurry of bird activity. A northern sawwet owl could be heard off in the distance as black-capped chickadees and red-breasted nuthatches watched us from the roadside. Flocks of common redpolls and white-winged crossbills flew over as well as a single pine grosbeak and lone red crossbill. What's that? Sounds like right across. While there were plenty of birds, none of the finches landed and all of them flew too high up to give us good looks. We continued on Pine River Road where we had an encounter with one of the more difficult to find Northwood species, the spruce grouse. Perfect. There he is. I see him. Oh, it's doing stuff. It's gritting. It is gritting. After initially acting timid, the spruce grouse eventually settled down in a tree with two other grouse. The spruce grouse is a medium-large, chicken-like bird of the north woods. They are known to be extremely tame, but can often be elusive to birders who seek them in Wisconsin. Males are gray-brown with black barring on the back and chest. Their key identifying feature is the red combs over their eyes. Females are rufous or gray with white and heavy barring on the stomach. Spruce grouse are normally solitary in summer, but sometimes gather in flocks in winter where they readily land in trees and feed on needles of pine, spruce, and conifers. Their crop can store a surprising amount of food, up to 10% of the bird's body weight. They are currently listed as a species of least concern, but habitat loss has become a threat for them in recent years. What do you guys think? Glorious. It's beautiful. Feeling really good about our grouse sighting, we continued down Pine River Road where we had another solid sighting just a few miles later. Nice, white wing crossbills. The white wing crossbills' unique crisscross mandibles help them to break into one of their main food sources, conifer seeds. However, not all crossbills have the same beak structure. The lower mandibles crossing over to the right is about three times more common than the lower mandibles crossing over to the left. They also possess a specialized food pocket in their throat to store extra seeds. This helps them survive in severe weather conditions. White-winged crossbills are known to be particularly friendly, and this group was no exception, giving us great looks. Well, for a time, the forest was alive with the sound of crossbills. We soon ran out of luck on Pine River Road and decided to head up to Alvin in search of evening grosbeaks. On the way, we got quick looks at the other grouse species in the north woods, the ruffed grouse. Ruffed grouse are typically easier to find than spruce grouse, but are arguably more difficult to get a good look at due to their skittish nature. They can be seen along roadsides foraging on the ground or occasionally perching in trees. In spring, males can be seen displaying and can be heard drumming. While we saw a total of eight ruffed grouse on our trip, we only managed obscured photos and blurry videos. After arriving in Alvin, we checked some of the local feeders. We found most of the usual suspects, but also managed to pick up two pine siskins. Much like other winter finches, pine siskins are eruptive. This means that they can have up years and down years depending on their food supply in the northern part of Canada and the United States. 
Pine Siskins have been harder to come by this year than in previous years, so we were very pleased to see a few of them on our trip. After driving up and down the snow-covered roads in the small town, we finally got the looks at Evening Gross Peaks that we were hoping for. Got them. Yep. The Evening Gross Peak is a large finch with a thick bill, heavy set body, and a short tail. Their bright yellow coloration easily stands out in the winter months when they travel out of their normal range into the lower parts of the United States. Males are yellow and black with a white wing patch on each wing. Females are mostly gray with some black and greenish yellow markings. They're almost always seen in large flocks and can be easily identified by call. They do not have a complex call like most birds, but use several simple calls and chirps to communicate. Since their bills are so large, they can access seeds that other birds cannot. As a result, a flock of evening grosbeaks will attract smaller birds who clean up the scraps. After our success in Alvin, we decided to head to another small town in search of bohemian waxwings, the town of Eagle River. Upon arriving in Eagle River, we were greeted by a chorus of bird songs filling the air. We pulled into a small parking lot and saw a large flock feeding on fruit trees. Well, what do you think? I think that everything making noise is these wax wings, and it's pretty crazy, and it's awesome. The Bohemian Waxwing gets its name from its nomadic lifestyle. Winter flocks move around searching for fruit trees, their primary and winter food source. During these months, they may stay in the same region for some time but do not have set territories. Bohemian Waxwings are in the same family as Cedar Waxwings and look very similar. Bohemians are slightly larger with mostly gray body and chestnut colored undertail coverts, whereas cedar waxwings are smaller with a brownish body, yellowish sides, and white undertail coverts. I would have been happy with just one. Along with the bohemian waxwings were several purple finches. Purple finches are one of the more common winter species in northern Wisconsin. They breed in coniferous forests but can be found in a variety of habitats. Purple finches can be identified by their thick bill, notched tail, and pinkish red coloration in males. Females are brown with white stripes near the eye. Purple finches seem to be decreasing in numbers in the eastern United States as they often lose out to house finches when the two species encounter one another. According to the North American Breeding Bird Survey, the global population is estimated at 6.4 million with 92% of these birds spending at least part of the year in the United States. After checking out several spots, we decided to start the long drive home, feeling very pleased with our day. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. No, it's a good day. <laughs> it's a good day. Just a good day? It's a great day. We saw a lot of cool stuff I'm really excited about. I got four new life birds. Nice. What was and your favorite part? Eat that. I really love seeing the white wing crossbills and the spruce grouse and the bohemian wax wings. Probably a three way tie. How about you? Was, this was probably the best day of boreal birding that I've ever had. And it was really nice. I definitely thought he was going to say best day of his life. It may have been. It <laughs> rings up there. I literally was told that I had a really good day of birding, but I drank half a bottle of cough syrup, and I don't remember any of it. He did drink cough syrup. It was a little awkward, but it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs>